Child poverty may seem like a world away, but it's not. Census Bureau data casting a new light on one of Syracuse's toughest challenges. News Channel 9's Madison Moore shows us how deep-rooted this crisis is and introduces you to those at the forefront of making a change. Record crowds at the Dome, one of the biggest malls in America. Great barbecue. The Salt City is synonymous with so many things, but now it's landed at the top of a list no community wants to be on. The Census Bureau ranking Syracuse number one for the highest childhood poverty in the country. My reaction was no different than anyone else's reaction. Um, Syracuse is home. I love this place. I love its people. And I was like, here we go again. The latest data from the Census Bureau showing nearly half of kids under the age of 18 are living in poverty in Syracuse. That's close to 15,000 children. Syracuse's poverty rate surpassing every other city with at least 100,000 people in them, including places like Detroit and Cleveland. Two upstate cities trailing closely behind. Rochester ranking number two in the country, Buffalo number six. We try to chip away at the things that are causing um, these numbers to be the way they are and you just um, sometimes for a, mi my, a, a, a minute a second um, say well, okay what are we missing here what does living in poverty actually mean here's an example a family of four with an annual income of less than twenty six thousand two hundred forty six dollars to put that in perspective the median household income in Syracuse is just below forty thousand dollars what is the city aside from the next generation of individuals that'll they'll live here and work here and play here and, and that's our generation of our young people if you're wondering if this is a new issue it's not Poverty has plagued the city of Syracuse for years. In 2015, we ranked number five for childhood poverty. Small strides have been made, but improvements still falling short compared to other cities. It's not for a lack of trying, but a multi-layered problem requires a multi-layered solution. Deputy Mayor Owens grew up here and stayed the course to better her community, just like Kenneth Hills. He remembers the days of running around the Southwest Community Center. This, a young adolescent, semi-knucklehead at times, you know, just, you know, in my own world. So try to figure it all out. A full circle moment for Hills, who now oversees that center as the chief operating officer of Syracuse Community Connections. So it's, it's just funny now to be here and not even funny, but somewhat rewarding to like be here now and see the young youth coming in and you know them building the rapport with you, you know, because it doesn't start overnight. That same belief brought Syracuse native Valerie Hill through the doors of the Southwest Community Center 12 years ago. She wanted to be a mentor and resource for her neighborhood. Those kids really rely on depend on me and I rely and depend on them as well. So we have a great relationship. It's mutual. Our love is mutual. Our trust is mutual. And with that, it makes uh, things a little bit easier for them. A deep connection also felt by Syracuse Community Health Center CEO Mark Hall. It's personal. It's personal to me because I lived here when I was a child. I came to the health center. My parents brought me here um, to receive services. I lived on this side of the town. Poverty's grip and impact affecting people from all walks of life in all different ways. This is not a black issue. This is not a poor white person issue. This is not a person of color. Poverty affects us all. Which is why these community leaders are fighting back with a common goal in mind. It's a community where, you know, where we start and where we finish, let's give us a chance to build that, to build the support and foundation between so you have a stronger finish. Throughout the week, I'll be giving you a closer look into the work being done to combat childhood poverty in the city of Syracuse. This series will introduce you to new problems, new ideas, and new solutions. Callahan? All right, Madison, thank you. If you head to localsyr.com, you'll find a page dedicated to resources, all designed to help those living in poverty here in Syracuse.